Your teens are finally going off to college, and it's about time, because it was not easy raising five. And then, crash. We've all been there, but it's okay. I'm sure I saved along the way, right? I haven't lost like 24 hours of gameplay because I've been sitting at my computer for an entire day. But when you load in, they're infants. No! In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up autosave using MC Command Center. I'll also walk through the other autosave features plus two crucial things you need to know to avoid hiccups and save yourself a ton of time. So let's get started. If you need help installing MC Command Center, I have an easy step-by-step -step tutorial of exactly how to do that in a separate video, which I will link down below. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your Sims computer. Once you've installed this mod correctly, you will see the option for MC Command Center. MC Command Center comes with several different extensions, but the one we're playing with today is MCCC Settings. The autosave option is the second one from the top. And to activate it, scroll down to the bottom, click Use Autosave, and click Enable. That's it. You now have Autosave activated. But let me review some of these other options. Here, Autosave name, pretty self explanatory. I have mine as MC Autosave just so it distinguishes itself from other saves within my game. Second is Autosave slot number. Here, I just leave it as the default value, but whenever I'm looking through my save files, I know that save 1111 is always the autosave. Next, we have maximum save slot number. So this just determines how many slots will be used when autosaving. For me, I like to keep this at one, but by all means, if you wanna increase it to a maximum of 10, you can, which could be handy. Next is save interval amount, but I'm going to circle back to that after I talk about interval type. So here you can choose from four different options. Pre-midnight alarms, so this will save every sim day roughly before 12 midnight. Or every real world hour, which could be good if you're using it for build mode. Next is every sim day or every sim hour. For me, I like to save my game every sim hour because I don't want to lose any progress. Now let's go back to save interval amount. Here you can customize the specific interval type even further. So let's say I think one hour is kind of a lot and maybe I don't need my auto saves to happen that quickly. Let's say I want to change it to two hours. Here I can customize the amount from one to two and now my game will save every two sim hours and you can do this from anywhere between one to 24. So really it's your choice. Lastly, we have show confirmation dialogue. But before I get into this, I want to show exactly what this is. So here I'm playing with my sim Lilla and because I have show confirmation dialogue on, this is what's going to happen. Save game. It's time for an auto save to occur. Do you want to save now? In the corner, it'll actually give you a notification to let you know it's saved as a separate file. MC auto save 00001111 which again, you could rename to anything you want. So in my case, I'll just keep it as MC autosave. So I'm painting again and it's coming up on the hour and guess what's gonna happen? Yep, that pop-up prompting you for a response. So once again, you can click okay, but for someone who's saving every sim hour, that is quite annoying. So let's see what we can do. You can actually disable this and now it will no longer be a burden. Having this show up in your game could be good if you're not sure if you want to save or maybe if you have less frequent saves. But for someone like myself who saves every sim hour, that gets old real quick. If you disable it and you're worried that you won't know if your auto saves are working, don't because in the top right hand corner, you will always get the prompt, which is way less obtrusive, letting you know that your auto save has been stored just fine. Now for the two critical need to knows to ensure you avoid any hiccups or mistakes. Oh, and my Sim just painted a masterpiece. Way to go, Lilla. Number one, saving. So let's say your game's crashed. Yeah, that sucks, but you have autosave set up, so no big deal. You probably just lost a few minutes. As you can see, Lilla is still painting that masterpiece. When you're loading specifically into your autosave file, you must immediately save as a new file or override the existing one. 
If you don't, and you go into a different save file, the autosave will eventually cycle through and override that slot, even if you did it manually. And once you get to five, that's it. Your saves are gone, and you will lose all of your progress permanently. In other words, just make sure you save as right after you load into any MC autosave file and you'll be good to go. Number two is just a time saving hack, but you will thank me later, trust me. So now that your settings are intact, to transfer these settings to the latest version of MC Command Center, just copy the MC settings.cfg file found in your old MC Command Center folder. Here, I've downloaded the latest version, which does not contain the file. But in my mods folder, you can see MC settings right at the bottom. So by dragging and dropping this into the latest version of MC Command Center, I can delete the old version and move the new one in, no problem. So whenever there's a new Sims 4 patch, or if the mod needs an update because of new features, you won't lose your custom settings. You're all set. No need to redo your setup in game. That wraps it up. I hope these tips keep your game running smoothly with autosaves. And if you enjoyed this, give this video a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. I post more than just tips. I've got some storylines, fun challenges, and even some cinematic mishinimas. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye for now.